We'll be as honest as we can without being too mean. I mean, personally speaking. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nina and I am engaged. I have been engaged to my fiance Chris for a little bit over a year. We were actually working on a big series in preparation for my very big wedding in June and then the pandemic hit. So we kind of had to shift course, but we still really want to get married this year. We were thinking about having a courthouse ceremony. I still want to look special and cute on that day. So I am going to try to find myself a new dress. I don't necessarily need a traditional big princessy poofy wedding dress because it's not that kind of ceremony. I think I'm leaning towards something shorter, more knee length, ideally with sleeves. I don't think I really want to go above five or six hundred dollars. I'm kind of open to trying anything. So this is a dress that I have been eyeing. I think it's pretty cute and it kind of has everything that I want in it. It still reads wedding. It's definitely something that I want to try. I kind of want to look on Beholden. I remember I used to look on Beholden when I was like in college and like dream about getting a wedding dress. So like something like this feels like it fits into the courthouse vibe very well. Just knowing my body type, I think this is gonna look very like sexy on me. That's not quite the vibe that I wanna go for. This is called an embroidered cotton trapeze dress. It's sleeveless and it just goes like out. And it definitely has a relaxed vibe, which is something that I do want for my courthouse wedding. It looks very comfortable, but it looks a little too comfortable for me. I just saw this dress from a brand called Needle and Thread, which is a brand that I've fantasized about buying for a long time. This kind of has everything that I want, I like a cinched waist, but relaxed skirt. So it's got, you know, a little bit of curve, a little bit of relaxed. I found this other dress. It also has sleeves, but it has like half sleeves, which I think is interesting. And then it has kind of like a tiered skirt, which feels feminine and romantic. Okay, I have ordered all of my outfits. I cannot wait for them to arrive so I can try them on. Today I'm gonna try on all of my dresses in front of my friends, Casey, Farah, and Pablo. Casey, Farah, and Pablo actually all came with me to a sari boutique to try on saris for my wedding. Now I've had to postpone my Hindu ceremony, so we'll save that for another time. And today they're gonna watch me try on some courthouse wedding dresses and give me their opinions on them. So when I was like Googling courthouse style, a lot of the dresses that I saw were very kind of simple, sleek and white. So I picked some dresses that are definitely more unique to my style, but there's still some variance within that. We'll be as honest as we can without being too mean. I mean, personally speaking, but... <laughs> Wow. Wow. This dress is $1.99. I actually really like this. I love that you were able to incorporate black in. It feels like you're like a haunted doll in a mansion and I feel like you would love that. It has like Victorian vibes, like the high neckline or like the lace. It's yeah. different and I'm into it. This is, I feel like this is out of your own comfort zone style-wise, which I really appreciate about it. Black is definitely my vibe most of the time, so I like that there's a little bit of that incorporated. It gives it a nice like definition without being overwhelming. Definitely a little bit like poofier and girlier than I think I normally do, but it, it does have like a silhouette that I really like. I, I like the lace. I don't know, I'm very into this. This is a nice dress. <laughs> you could like make me cry right now because it like feels unexpected. It does. Yeah. This is a really great dress. <laughs> yeah, like good luck with the next ones. Here I am. Oh gosh. It's $4.99, which is definitely on the pricier end, and kind of the highest end that I want to spend. I definitely want something that feels like fun and that will like pop a little more in photos. And I think that this will do that. It brings like the sparkle and the color, but now we get like the white and the lace. From far away, it looks a little too busy for me. I think my issue is the neckline because it reads is so delicate. The neck feels a little bit chunkier. It's so interesting. Like this is the most expensive one. And I really feel like the neckline, that band just brings it down in value. That's fair. It's like more feminine spring, like flirty kind of thing. I, that's definitely like my vibes. It's a maybe. It's a no for me. I'm gonna say no too. I'm gonna keep this one in the yes pot. Hey, you're fancy. This is so classy. Oh. 
screamed wedding. This one is Fame and Partners dress and it's $269. I think it's a pretty good price for what it is. If you want something like bolder and definitely wedding-y feeling, the material is like really nice and it feels expensive. It feels like it's very structured and made to last, but still has like some flow to it, which is nice. I do like that with this one, you're gonna have the option to like do your hair nicely and like wear like earrings or a necklace. So that's like a fun thing with this one. Yeah, hey, I've seen you know wear so many shirts with that like flowy sleeve top that this is just very much your vibe. I don't know that I love it. The first one and the second one fell out of the box. This one feels way out of the box. Which is also hilarious that Pablo's saying this because this one's the most traditional and yet for you it's the least traditional. It's a gorgeous dress and there's so many things I like about it but I think it just might be a little too basic. It's a no for me. I think I'm gonna have to say no as well. It's a no for me, but your arms and shoulders look great, Nina. Thanks. I've been working out. Yeah, I think it's a no for me also. Ooh, lace. This is on the cheaper side. I think it's the cheapest one we have. It's about $72. It has elements that I really like. It's kind of lacy. It's very feminine. I love you, but I don't love this. <laughs> Just compared to the ones we've already seen, which may be like, like not a fair thing to say, but it falls a little flat. It doesn't scream like a special day for me. It's like, I'd wear this to a party or something like that. I think it's nice. I don't think it's nice for this occasion. It feels for me personally, a little bit conservative. Like the lace part in the neckline, I, I thought would be like a little more see-through. I liked trying something you know, under a hundred dollars that still felt within my wheelhouse, but this one is a no for me. I think we can all agree that it's a no for all of us. I feel like we're going to like your communion or something. Wait, I was just gonna say that too. I feel like you're gonna have thoughts and then I'm gonna explain what I was thinking. Here we go. <laughs> this dress is like boggling my mind. Sometimes when you t like turn, it feels like the most slimming, flattering dress ever. And then you do another turn and you look gigantic. It's like you have wings. I'm not mad at the wing fan. I think it adds a very holy element. <laughs> it looks like a saint. This dress is $2.95. It's Halston, which I think is like a more expensive brand. I have a dress really similar to this actually that I really like. I saw a lot of women with like cape blazers and dresses in their courthouse wedding pictures. And I was like, that's a vibe I wanna see if I can capture. But it didn't quite work out with this because when I compare and contrast it to the black dress that I already have, there's more of a contrast because it has the looseness of the cape part than the tightness of the body part. As it is now, it almost just feels too covered up. I get what they were going for, but I think the execution wasn't quite for me. Yeah, it's a no for me. It's a nope. No. It is also a no for me, so let's go try something else on. Ooh! Oh, look wow. at this! It's needle and thread. I really like the silhouettes that they have there and like the embroidery with the sheerness that they have. That's like kind of their thing. It's a sheer sleeve with some embroidery and it like looks fun. I will say it feels like more of like a nighttime reception thing than like a daytime courthouse thing. But also it's your wedding and you can do whatever you want. It's a cute cut. I think the sleeves are beautiful. I do agree with Casey that it feels very nighttime, but I think if you took a photo in the sunlight, it would capture it beautifully. In theory, we'll have a daytime courthouse thing, but I still want our parents to be there and hopefully we'd still be able to like go to dinner somewhere together. So I would like to transition this from day to night. You know, I, I see it as like full day affair. But yeah, like I just, I think it's really cute. I think I just love the sparkles. It's so glamorous and it's like a wedding. You should go all out. I'm all in for this dress. This is a yes for me. This is a yes for me too. I think this is a yes for me too. This one is just very cute and fun and I like it. <laughs> I would love to know which one was your guy's favorite before I kind of reveal mine. My it favorite was number one. You started off strong and I think we should stay strong. As much as I loved like the elegance and how like pretty and sparkly the last one is, the first one made me almost cry. So I think that says something. I think I'm gonna have to go like against the grain though and say the last one might've been my favorite. It was so glamorous and sparkly and I feel like you should feel that like vibe on your wedding because it's your special day and everyone should be looking at you. I'm really torn 
between the first one and the last one. They both encompass just like different parts of my vibe and I don't know what vibe I want to be feeling on the courthouse wedding day. One is like haunting Nina and one is elegant Nina. Yeah. <laughs> All that to say is no matter which of those two or any of them you pick, you're still gonna look really great. Thank you, Farah and all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so after much deliberation, I ended up choosing this dress. I loved this one. I had to order it in my actual size because it was a little big when it came, but yeah. Dress number one, you know? Sometimes it's the first thing that you pick. <laughs>